by looking at the alt art artist name right there on the side of the alt art card. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I'm going to show you all the alternate arts in the first set of One Piece card game Romance Dawn. All right, so the alternate arts got crazy confusing in this set, and there's actually a certain point where you need to put on some super high power spectacles to understand what's really going on with these alternate arts, but I'll get to that point. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys every single card that is an alternate art from this set and how dang shiny and good looking it is because these cards look crazy. All right, first and foremost, we got this Dawn. This is the regular art for the Dawn. It's got the One Piece film red on the back and the regular Dawn art and then you had a chance at a Luffy Dawn. So this was the Luffy Dawn, there's one per box and the back looks like the regular Dawn back. Each leader has an alternate art and I am missing one. I'm missing the Zoro alternate art. I'll have it soon. I'll do a short to show you guys. Luffy has an alternate art that looks like this. He's got real, real shiny and I'm pretty sure this one right now is holding the highest value in the set. But these alternate leader arts look amazing. They have this really cool foiling going on around the line work and they really emphasize the type of line work and movement in these images. And this is really nice crops. Look at that crop. That is a nice looking crop. Next we have Law and the Law alternate art. This is the alternate art Law and it looks really, really good. This is the leader I'm gonna be playing. I think these leaders just look absolutely amazing. Odin's got a super boiled alternate art leader. This is the hyper boiled alternate art Odin crop. Look at that crop, what a crop. These, these alternate art leaders are just really, really cool crops of the characters' faces in these kind of manga original manga style portraits that just look really, really good. It's in, it's completely impossible to show how awesome these look, but the, all the lines are shiny and it's very, very subtle and looks really cool because they're also sort of textured in the way that the lines work. Doflamingo has an alternate art and here's the Dofi alternate art and his hair has got some really shiny points. This guy's gonna get you with a stringer finger, beware. Kaido's got an alternate art. This is the Kaido alternate art. He's got a real thick neck. You can tell how beastly he is, but it's kind of crazy how this horn actually looks like it might be an extension of his neck. Like he just has this absolutely massive neck coming out of here on the back of your neck. Kuroko boy has an alternate art leader. Here's the Chad Croc looking like a hyper chin for chin Chaz. I kind of do subscribe to the theory that this is Luffy's mom. I can get behind that. Can you? A Kuroko boy. King has a very interesting alternate art. It seems really, really stylized, but it definitely looks like some of Oda's drawings from the manga. And I think all the alternate art leaders very much reference Oda's manga style. Next, we have rares that have alternate arts. So going in order of the set, Sanji is the first one with an alternate art. Here's the alternate art Sanji. Looks really, really good. It almost looks like the X's that food gets on a grill. It's just so hot, it's such a hot card. He's got the Diable Jambe fire coming out of his foot. You do not want to mess with a Rady in front of this guy because Sanji love Radies. Nami's got an alternate art, and I would definitely say that Nami's alternate art is my favorite alternate art in the set. It just looks so dang good. And the stippled texture in the background just makes her look like she's got water flying all around her and the beautiful sky controlling weather at its finest. Ulti has an alternate art, and you can see Ulti's art alternate, you can see Ulti's alternate art here, that's a real tongue twister. Ulti's alternate art. Shiny, sh wiggity shiny. Really, really, really dang shiny card. Queen's got an alternate art. And this is the final waifu of the set. Most massive waifu in the set. Queen waifu, for sure. It's got that griddle press kind of thing going on there also. Shiny gun, that is a real shiny gun you got there, Queen. Nippleless Jack that never skips chest day has an alternate art. And this Jack definitely does still do chest day, but he think he actually has one nipple in there. You can kind of see the other one. It's got no nipple at all. A real, real shiny blades jack. Luffy's got an alternate art. This was one of the first cards that was spoiled in the for the game. It's a really, really great looking card. 
I call this the Deku Luffy because I think he looks like Deku from My Hero Academia, but really, really cool looking Luffy card. Zoro's got a very cool alternate art. I th really think this is probably the best SR in the set. 5k rush for three energy is so dang good. The perspective on this card is just absolutely insane. It's so cool. It looks so dimensional. It looks like it's really, really coming out of the card. Absolutely gorgeous. Kinemon has a really, really cool alternate art. And I love how they decided to just put that texture right along the flame that he's cutting. It looks so dang cool. Very, very, very cool style. Law has an alternate art. This might be my second favorite alt art out of the SRs in the set. I think it looks really amazing. Maybe favorite SR alt art. Nami's my favorite rare alt art, but very, very shiny. And I just love how these cards really look like characters are totally popping out of the card when you hold it at different angles. They look so fantastic. Kid's got an alt art. Here's the alt art kid. Also very, very cool style. And same thing, the card, the image really looks like it's popping out of the card from how well they handled the reverse holographic on these cards. They just look so dang amazing. Iridescent electricity, come on, that's wild. Give me a break. What an amazing piece of cardboard. A Kuroko boy. Kuroko boy alt. That hook is so dang shiny. He looks really menacing. Or should I say that now he, the once her, maybe? I don't know. Could it be Luffy's mom? I heard a theory and I think I can get behind it because maybe there is something going on between a uh, dragon and croc at one point in time and we all know what Ivankov can do and croc really didn't want them to tell his secret about something when we were in Impel Down and Ivankov was the only one that knew about it and for some reason Croc was actually kind of protecting Luffy the whole time in really important moments so I don't know I don't know I don't know could be crazy stuff this is weird art Dofi's got an alt art this one does look kind of sick but uh his face looks a little weird but he does look very metal this is very definitely very heavy metal card Dofi, Dofi fits his rock star vibe in here for sure. Boa has, I think, what is the most valuable alt, alt art in the set. Just super shiny, sparkly. Sugoi. Kakoi Hankoku. Oh my god, shiny, shiny this. Doofy. Tasukete. No, she never says that. She's the one helping Luffy out, actually. <laughs> so dang shiny. Wow, beautiful, beautiful card. Mihawk's got a pretty cool alt art, but actually I like the SR better to be honest. Super cool perspective on Mihawk though. I gotta give him that. Looks really, really cool. Just the centered character with his foot over his knee off to the side just looks so dang cool. Very, very, very cool card. Kaido's got a pretty crazy alt art. This art is sick. This card just looks so good. It's really hard to see how cool this looks in photos. I mean, we can all do our best, but this texture that's going on and the dragon up here just looks really, really wild. And the reverse holographic on his tattoo on his arm. See how that's like lighting up under there, under his horn, just on his arm? That's so wild. What, a, what an amazingly cool design choice. King has an alt art. Pretty handsome guy. I would say maybe one of the most handsome guys. He's got that handsome haircut thing with a braid in it and his ruffled shirt unbuttoned to the middle of his chest. This card is just screaming handsome. Duval would be a jealous, jealous man if King came up on to his party. Watch. Now, Yamato has a regular art for her secret rare art and it looks pretty dang fantastic as well. It's got that texture going on here and even stippling texture in the hollow foil next to her and silver lining all throughout the line work. Just looks insanely, insanely good. And that hollow foil on her club, whew. And this is my favorite card ever made in the history of mankind. And what I realized about this card, even though it looks insanely amazing, is the artist that drew the art, you can see the name right there, Barry Verina. So all the alternate arts actually have artist names written right here, which I love that they're doing that and giving credit to the artist. So if you wanna go follow this artist and check out more of their work, you can find the alt art artist by looking at the alt art artist name right there on the side of the alt art card. But yeah, this is my favorite card ever. I think this is so completely amazing. I actually pulled two out of one case, which was absolutely wild but 
best looking trading card in the history of ever, I think, actually. Now what's interesting about the Shanks card is the Shanks card is actually the one that's the alt art in a sense because it's the one that has a unique artist that drew it. And you can see the artist's name here. And this is the regular rarity, but this is an artist version that is interesting because the Shanks actually has two other versions. This is the more common version that looks absolutely insane. It looks like the world is actually on fire behind him and he's got the one hand drawing the sword out because you know what's going on with his other hand not there but it's a very 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 cool very shiny card but in a sense this actually is almost like the alternate art since it is the one that's drawn that isn't like the regular art from the show whereas this is more like Oda's original work drawing a character very much in his style and this is the one alternate version of the regular rarity of the shanks art and you can see as well there's a bunch of texture on here and kind of silver shininess going on on the line work on him as well very 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 riddle and the manga art shanks this is the rarest card in the set and it looks so freaking cool I love what you can do with Shanks' eyes in the background if you just move the card in the light and make it change colors. I think that looks really cool. It looks like he has it it looks like he has a different expression with the different colors that shine off of his face. So when you turn the card, it really changes the feel of the card based on what color is reflecting off of that area, which just looks so insanely, insanely cool. You get so many different feelings from Shanks based on what colors you put in his eyes beautiful piece of cardboard definitely worthy of a god rare title i was actually using my loop i was actually using my loops to look So all, those are all the artists of all the different arts. I would recommend going to check them out if you really like some art. It's great to support artists, and I think that's really cool that this game is doing that and referencing them on the cards. So kudos to the design team for that choice. It's a really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative and helpful. I found a, I was really interested by a lot of this stuff when I figured it out. So pretty psyched to check it out and show you guys. I'm a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip to you would be, did you know that your teeth are treasure? Because treasure are things that are shiny and valuable and your teeth are shiny and valuable and your enamel is made out of a crystal called hydroxyapatite. That's right. Apatite is a rare earth mineral and your teeth have a crystalline structure that makes up your enamel called hydroxyapatite. So you basically have gems and treasure hanging out of your skull that you communicate all of your emotions with and talk to the world with and use to eat and breathe and stay alive so treasure your teeth and take care of them because they are actually treasures thank you so much